Dear students, I welcome you all in the lecture of transportation engineering. So, whenever we hear the word transport or transportation, the thing that strikes in our mind is what is transport or what is transportation. So, let me tell you that transportation is made up of two words actually. The transport is a British English word, whereas the transportation is, is an American English word. This particular word means the transportation means it is the movement of people and goods from one place to another it is basically made up of two latin words the term is derived from the latin trans which means across and porter means carry now let us discuss about the various segments of your syllabus your syllabus of transportation engineering is divided mainly into five parts the first part is about the introduction in which various kind of transportation and organizations and their functions will be covered. Second is about the highway transportation which covers the introduction, geometric design, materials, pavements and lighting and traffic engineering. Third is about the rail transportation which covers various kind of components, functions and purposes. Fourth is about the water transportation that covers the part of harbor, definition, structure, functions and navigational aids. And fifth is about the air transportation which covers the part of airport and importance. We are going to learn certain topics about the WH questions. Now you will be wondering that what am I talking about? What is this WH questions and why we need to learn? So, there is a basic theory that whenever you are going to learn a new topic, there are three things or three questions, three WH questions, whose answer you should be knowing well aware of. So, the subject name is Transportation Engineering. So, we should know in detail that what is this subject is all about and why we need to learn now the answer of what can be combined in one single definition but whenever i am talking about the reasons for learning any subject the reasons or the motive to learn any subject are different so what are the reasons that why we should learn road transportation or transportation engineering as a subject as an engineering subject there may be two benefits there may be two reasons of the why first is the academic benefit criteria and second is the commercial benefit criteria as we are entering in the third year of the engineering along with the academic benefit academic benefits we should be well aware of the commercial benefits that after learning the subjects how this subject of transportation engineering can be helpful in the real life or through the transportation engineering subject, how you can earn the benefits on a commercial base. So let us learn the answers of why and what and how. What is transportation engineering? So transportation engineering is basically made up of two words. First is the transportation and second word is the engineering. Now, as you are entering in the third year of the engineering, you all are well aware of the fact that engineering is the branch of science and technology that converts the concept into executional models. Means in, as an engineer, you always tend to solve the problems. Now, how, what do you mean by the transportation term? What is the mean of transportation? And what is the importance of transportation? Let us learn this particular two questions or the answers of these two questions in further slides. Here you can see number of news articles. First is about the two wheelers sharing services resume operations across the cities amid lockdown 4.0. Nowadays we all have observed the conditions and circumstances of COVID-19 and we all know that how transportation is affected by COVID-19. You cannot move from one place to another if efficient transportation is not there. Now second is also one of the news articles, it is the latest articles of the private bus operation. Third is about the transport and logistics news. Fourth is about the construction of roads worth 15 lakh crore rupees in next two years. It is also one of the latest articles 
and the news is from Mr. Nitin Gadkari, who is the Minister of Road Transport and Highway, which is also called as Morth. Now, you may be wondering that why am I showing these photos to you? So, I have already established the fact that before learning any subject, you need to learn the reason or the answers of why. That why you need the, to learn this particular transportation engineering subject. So, the answer of why is in my next photo. You can see in this photo that budget and infrastructure sector, the key highlight segment states that Finance Minister Sri Nirmala Sitaraman ji on Saturday has allocated 1.7 lakh crores rupees towards transportation infrastructure in that 2020-21 budget. Friends, Rupees 1.7 lakh crore is the huge amount as far as the Indian budget scenario is concerned. And she has also promised that more Tejas type trains will connect to rich tourist destinations. Now, why am I showing this particular news articles? By showing all these articles, I only want to show that the transportation industry in India is currently on the most important sector, one of the most important sector. So, whenever you try to learn any of the concept, any of the theories or any of the topics from transportation engineering, make sure that you are learning these things for your personal benefits, personal academic benefits and commercial benefits. Now, answers to the why, technical answers of why. Why we need to learn transportation engineering as far as academic criteria of the semester is concerned. Let me tell you that India is having 33 lakhs kilometer of road stretch. Total road stretch I am talking about. Not a railway stretch, not airway stretch. I am talking about the roadway stretch. Another fact is in India the major, major channel of transport is road network. And the road network in, in, in India is the second largest in the world. So, it works as the feeder and defense in the time of war and it also optimizes the cost. You may have felt that whenever you are transporting from one place to another, the comparative cost of road transport is quite lesser than any other means of, means of transport. So these are one of the technical reasons that why you need to learn transportation engineering and, or why you need to learn the road transport. Now, if you jump in the key highlights of this budget of 2021, you may observe that certain transportation infrastructure facilities are going to be commenced. That National Highway Authority of India to monetize 12 highway bundles, 2500 highway development is going to be proposed, 9000 km of economic corridors are going to be targeted, 2000 km of coastal roads are going to be targeted, Delhi Mumbai Expressway is to be completed by 2023. New Tejas type trains are also going to be proposed. High speed train between Mumbai and Ahmedabad are also going to be actively pursued. So these are the key highlights which states that on present scenario, the transportation engineering plays an important role in your academic curriculum as well as in your real life criteria. So this is the answer of why. Now, let us learn what is the transportation actually. So let me tell you that for any country to develop with the right momentum, modern and efficient transport is the basic infrastructure. It is the must situation. It has been seen throughout the history of any nation that a proper, extensive and efficient road transport has played a major role. Throughout the history, if you observe, then you will you will uh, try, you will able to analyze that people's progress has been sustained on the convenience speed and safety of the modes of transport and by all the means of transport if we talk about the road transport then the road transport occupies a primary place in today's world as it provides a rich unparalleled by any other contemporary mode of transport now let us learn about the transportation how this term of transportation is coined or how it is defined. Transport, my friends, transport is a British English word 
and transportation is an American English word. It just means the movement of people and goods from one place to another. The word transportation is made up of Latin two words. Trans, the word trans means across and the word sport means to carry. The transportation means the movement of people and goods from one place to another. Now, why we need to learn the transportation engineering as far as the academic criteria is concerned? Don't get confused. In, in the previous slides, I have mentioned the real-time facts and figures that what is the current scenario of transportation in India. And now I am going to narrate about the academic criteria. So the answer of importance of transportation can be understood with nine strong benefits. Or you can say the functions of transportation. The first is that transportation helps in the in which kind of factors? The first is growth of industries through the quick marketing. Now, how it can contribute to the growth of industry? Now, let me tell you that transport contributes in the growth of industry whose product requires quick marketing. Perishable articles such as fish, green vegetables are carried to various consumers quickly. These are the perishable articles which are required to provide it at various locations quickly. So, even when the places of destination are at proper distance, if transportation is there, then the growth of industries will be quite high. So, the perishable articles like fish and green vegetables are carried to various consumers or customers quickly even in the distant markets through transport. And we all have observed these things in the COVID-19 scenario. So it, the transportation contributes in the growth of industries whose product requires quick marketing. The another criteria that how the transportation can help. Now, the another criteria is it increases the goods demand. The transportation helps in increase the demand for goods. Through transport, newer customers in newer places can be easily contacted and products can be introduced to them easily. Nowadays, markets have become national and international only because of transport. You can purchase a new iPhone from America and take it and bring it to you only because there is a transportation provided or efficient transportation is provided. So, transport helps in increasing the demand of goods. It through the new transport or through the transport, the customers who are new to the sale, new to the sale or new to the places can be easily contacted. So this is the second scenario. Now the another third scenario is that it creates place utilities. Now what is this place utilities? This is a technical term that you need to understand. The transportation creates place utility. utility. Graphical and climatic factors force industries to be located in particular places which are far away from the markets and places where they may not be of any demand or the products. But if transportation is provided, then the gap between production unit and consumption unit can be easily bridged. Means, let us understand this, this concept with the help of an example. This is the, the place which is called as Rajkot city. Let us take this is an Andabad city. Now, let us assume that in the Rajkot city, there is a production factory of Balaji wafers. But most of the Balaji wafers are sold in Ahmedabad. Now, if the transportation is provided, the production and consumption center, this is the production center where the wafers are product produced and this is the consumption center. They can be easily connected. If this transportation is not there, then there will be a gap. And this gap will not be bridged. So, the place utilities can be created easily. The another criteria is that it creates time utility. Now, what is the meaning of time utility? Of late transport has started creating the time utility also. It has been made possible by virtue of improvements in the speed of transport. If the speed of transport is much, it is more, then it will help the product to be distributed in the various segments, various places 
in minimum possible time so here we are talking about the transportation speed or the speed of transportation that if the transportation is provided and at the speed if the speed of transportation is higher then the products can be distributed in minimum possible time now the another criteria is about the balancing of supply demand factors now how it helps in stabilization of the price so the transportation exerts considerable influence upon the stabilization of the prices of several commodities because when a commodity is moved from one place to another it may happen that the additional charge of transport may lived on it so how it can be equalized if the commodities are transported from the surplus zone to the deficit zone now the surplus zone means where the requirement of things are less deficit zone means which zones the zones where the demand is high if the articles are transported from this place to this place the distribution will be equalized and the demand and supply will be balanced equally so this is how it equalizes the supply and demand factors and it makes it stable now the another factor is about the even distribution of commodities it may happen that certain commodities may not be available at certain places in any nation or in any area let us take an example that we all have heard about a thing called as patanna patoda this thing patanna patoda is a kind of sari now this is a special kind of sari which is only manufactured in patan which is situated in gujarat but the demand of this sari is quite high in various states like mumbai means maharashtra and delhi now if the transportation is not there this sarees would never be able to reach at places like mumbai and delhi and all the production of this sarees will be wasted but with the help of this transportation this kind of commodities can be even distributed to the places where they are not manufactured so this is how it can be helpful in the even distribution of commodities here the meaning of even distribution means the stable distribution of commodities in the total area now decentralization let us understand the fact that in india the production of steel was first started in jamshedpur but as the demand was increased various steel plants were relocated in various kind of states let us take it at gujarat maharashtra andhra pradesh and madhya pradesh so this is called as the decentralization that the production unit of any industry is not located at the at one center only but it is decentralized where it is required it is called as decentralization it increases the standard of living essential factor for the further development of marketing and economy now the eighth factor is the competition identification with the help of transportation the various kind of competitors are introduced which in turn the prices are reduced the prices are reduced because of the facilities offered by the transport for large scale production and advantages of this large scale production is possibly only due to transport if there are only two or three production unit or two or three companies which produces mobile in india then it will be called as the monopoly but there are total 15 to 20 companies so there is a healthy competition between these companies and this is all this is due to the transportation so this is how it reduces the prices through competition identification and last but not the least the last criteria is it increases the mobility it increases the mobility the mobility means access to transportation
it increases the mobility of labor and capital means various kind of labors and capital can be transported from one place to another it makes people of one place migrate means move to another places in search of jobs even capital machineries and equipments are also imported from foreign countries through transportation only so this is how the importance of transport can be understood this was the answer of your what and why that what is the transportation engineering and why you need to learn i have included this segment in your first lecture because from the next lecture you all must be properly attentive that you need to learn this subject on a priority basis so let us revise the topics importance of transport first is the growth of industries it increases the goods demand second is it creates the utility less utility fourth is it creates the time utility to utility utility fifth is about the supply demand factor supply chain demand sixth is about the even distribution of commodities seventh is about the decentralization eighth is about the competition identification and ninth is about the that it increases the mobility thank you so much